how to crack mc 2019 whether it might be ap or tsm set so watch this video till the end and get a good rank in mc so before we proceed with this video make sure to subscribe this amazing youtube channel the dream builder so basically you must be clear with one thing that you are the only person responsible in order to get a good rank and in order to crack M set. It's up to you whether you require 100 out of 160, 120 out of 160 or 160 out of 160 marks. It's up to you. So here's a 35 days preparation plan for you. 24 hours a day, right? We have 24 hours a day. It's all about time, how we manage our time, how we prepare for MSET, whether we are wasting it or whether we are preparing for MSET. Remember one thing, time waits for none. So here's a daily routine for you. Six hours of sleep is enough for you. It is scientifically proved. Two hours for breakfast, lunch and dinner yeah that's enough two hours for short break while you're studying you need short breaks 15 minutes of short break right and remaining 14 hours study that's it eight hours for mathematics as we have 80 questions for max three hours for physics and three hours for chemistry So let's see the day one schedule. Get up by 6 a.m. 6 to 7 a.m. Brush, exercise and breakfast. 7 to 9 a.m. Trigonometric ratios up to transformation. Then 9 to 9.20 a.m. Short break. 9.20 to 12.20 p.m. Trigonometric ratios up to transformation. This is the most weighted chapter in mathematics. So start with it, right? 9 uh, 12:20 to 1 p.m. have your lunch 1 to 4 p.m. periodic table is the best chapter to start in chemistry 4 to 5 p.m. short nap plus snacks then again 5 to 7 trigonometric ratios solve previous year questions then go for dinner till 7:40 then 7:40 to 10 p.m. start physics with electric charges and fields then finally revise recheck and skim till 11 p.m. Let's see the day 2 schedule. Get up by 6 a.m. Follow the same routine. Don't disturb it. 6 to 7 a.m. Brush, exercise, breakfast. 7 to 9 trigonometric ratios along with trigonometric equations. One more additional chapter. 9 to 9.20 a short break. 9.20 to 12.20 p.m. Trigonometric equations. Then go for lunch till 1 p.m. Then from 1 to 4 p.m. periodic table along with electrochemistry. Then go for short nap plus snacks till 5 p.m. 5 to 7 p.m. trigonometric equations solve previous year questions. Then go for dinner. Then again electric field along with electrostatic potential. Then finally revise, recheck and skim. Let's go through the day 3 schedule. Same, get, get up by 6 a.m. 6 to 7, brush, exercise, breakfast. You can take the screenshot of these schedules, day 1, day 2, day 3 till day 7, right? 7 to 9, inverse trigonometric functions. 9 to 9.20, take a short break. Then 9.20 to 12.20, hyperbolic functions. Then go for lunch till 1 p.m. Then 1 to 4 p.m., electrochemistry numericals, solve numericals. Then go for short nap along with some snacks. Then 5 to 7, inverse trigonometric functions, hyperbolic functions. Then go for dinner. Then electrostatic potential and capacitance in physics. Till 10 p.m. Then finally, revise, recheck and skim. Then here's the day 4 schedule. Get up by 6 a.m. 6 to 7, brush, exercise, breakfast. 7 to 9, trigonometric extra problems which you haven't solved 
9 to 9 20 short break 9 20 to 12 20 properties of triangles new chapter 12 20 to 1 lunch time 1 to 4 pm p block elements start with p block elements then go for short nap plus snacks then 5 to 7 solve previous year questions from trigonometry then go for your dinner till 7 40 then start current electricity in physics from 7 40 till 10 pm then revise recheck and skim last one hour right whatever you have studied the whole day you need to revise it you need to recheck it so maintain a rough book right now day 5 get up by 6 am same then brush exercise breakfast 6 to 7 7 to 9 probability new chapter 9 to 920 short break then 920 to 12 20 pm probability then go for your lunch till 1 pm then 1 to 4 pm p block previous questions then along with the pre block previous question start s block elements 4 to 5 pm short nap along with snacks then again probability 5 to 7 then go for your dinner in physics start heat and thermodynamics till 10 pm 7:42 till 10 pm then revise recheck and skim here's the day 6 timetable get up by 6 am 6 to 7 brush exercise breakfast follow the same routine then solve previous year questions of probability from 7 to 9 then go for your break 9 20 to 12 20 again probability then go for lunch in chemistry start s block questions previous questions and start d block then take short nap along with some snacks then 5 to 7 start random variables in mathematics then 7 to 7 40 go for your dinner 7 40 to 10 pm heat and thermodynamics and finally the last one hour is dedicated for revise recheck and skim the topics which you have learned the day right day 7 get up by 6 a.m same timetable follow it make it a habit 6 to 7 brush exercise breakfast similarly 7 to 9 probability extra questions which you haven't solved 9 to 920 take a break then 920 to 12 20 random variables previous questions then go for your lunch then during 1 to 4 pm f block elements start f block along with previous papers then go for short nap along with snacks then solve probability previous questions from 5 to 7 then go for your dinner then from 7 40 to 10 heat and thermodynamics previous questions then finally revise recheck and skim so this is how your timetable should be right every sunday i will upload a video regarding your timetable so as i have said 35 days timetable so it is seven days only right till your mset exam i will be uploading these videos every sunday so if you start from tomorrow it will be okay that you will you can follow my timetable from tomorrow itself from Monday till Sunday then again I would make a new timetable continuing the day 8 from day 8 right I have done it till day 7 so from day 8 I will again start it so if I would make a single video of day 1 to day 35 so the video will be very much lengthy so I will break it down into smaller videos it would be convenient for you so that's the reason I have prepared a seven day timetable for now. Okay. Next Sunday I will upload it the next schedule. So if you're having any doubts, you can comment below and make sure you follow this timetable. Don't waste your time. Please practice, practice, practice and practice.